Here we go. Welcome back to Full On Football. We've, we've had a little bit of uh, chair Shuffle shuffling <laughs> and we've got Raj Singh, we've got Kevin Agostini. Nick has just gone off to have a bit of a breather and a drink because uh, of Benched. what he, he said that uh, <laughs> everyone's having a holiday up at Port Mirry. <laughs> and we're talking women's football. This is our spotlight segment, guys. Mm -hmm. And we, we're, this gives us a, an opportunity to focus on other areas of football. Tonight, it's women's football. Yay, it's about time. We haven't had it for ages. With us tonight, um, is the captain of Fulham United, Leanne Govins. Welcome to Fulham Football. Thanks for having me. Fantastic to have you. Now, Friday night, we had Friday night football for the first time, the Soars Women's Premier League and also the reserves played as well. Fantastic opportunity for people to come out and watch the game at Santos Stadium and it was a great match. It was a good game. It's, it's been difficult this year. They've made all the Prems and Reserves teams kick off at the same time. Last year we had um, our kickoffs a bit earlier than the other Premier League teams, so we could go watch games, but this is the first chance that we, that other teams get to watch other teams in the league, and it was a great turnout, I think a couple of hundred people probably there yeah. at Santos, and it was a great game, as it, they always are. It so. was, and it was a very, very cold night, there was a nice big haze of fog on the pitch. I know, we really noticed that cold. when we came out for warm-up, it's like, we can't see anything, yeah. so, but it was good, and given, given the conditions, we're really happy with the way we played, so. Well, look, I was there taking footage on the night, so we've got a bit of footage that we can talk okay. to. This was a really important match, because you were both sitting on equal points up top, and, uh, something that you really had to come away with the points with this match. Yeah, they'd beaten us in the first game of the season. Um, we just weren't we just weren't right. We weren't ready at the start of the season and we needed this. If we had lost this, it was all over for us pretty much. So um, and we weren't prepared to give that give our title up that easily so yeah, so it's a great game. I have to be honest. I have to be honest, Leanne. I've seen quite a few games. This wasn't the best game that I've seen for a long time, but it was a very even game, a very tight tussle. It was. They always are. No matter where Adelaide City and Fulham are on the ladder, we always always have really good battles against each other. And it's not often that there's many goals scored. At the start of the year, we were underdone and, and, and City just came at us from the start. But normally, there's it's one or two goals and that's it. And we knew at half time it would be a one-goal game. And and we're just lucky we got the goal and, and it was enough in the end. You did. Now, uh, one thing that I observed is that you held your back line very, very strongly. Now, of course, you're the keeper in the, in the team, so mm -hmm. you do, uh, you, you're a bit of a talker, you're a bit of a giving people directions, as a keeper does, yep. but you did hold your back line very well, so they weren't able to penetrate your defence. No, they weren't. Um, they did try and play a lot of long balls over the top and... and what we are good at is reading the play. We, we, we communicate well with each other. We know the way that Adelaide City play. And, um, yeah, and, and having um, Renee Harrison back in the middle of the defence is just fantastic. She's a good talker too, very confident, and we get a lot, a lot of confidence out of her as well. So Now, the, goal, the person that scored the goal, Nadia Lassan, is that Dave Lassan's daughter? That he was your coach last year? It is, that's it. Yeah, that's fantastic. And he, he was, of course, the... Bob Bush Coach of the Year last year, which yep. is fantastic, and yeah. and you've got your old coach back, Max Primaro, now, yeah. and uh, great to fantastic. have him back. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. He's just he's such a great bloke, such a great coach, and he's just all for Fulham. So, Leanne, you're formidable opposition, but how do you, how many teams are in the league, and um, where where do you feel the challenge is going to come from this year? Challenge is uh, Sturt Marion. Um, and just mainly because they've picked up a lot of the, the older older players, more experienced players. Um, so they've been they've been fantastic. They're equal top. Oh, they've two games in hand of us uh, three, and three points behind. So they're definitely the team that have made the the big difference. Um, and Fulham and Adelaide City up the top, um, which we've come to know the past couple of years. But Sturt Marion have been the biggest. And do you train two or three times a week? How often do you get uh, out there? And twice a week and mm. games on Sundays. So pretty much a lot like any other and Premier And being the, team. The, the, um, the captain and a goalkeeper, you don't get involved in the, the play in the centre of the ground as it goes down the other end. How do you actually relay the messages to the teams? Um, just through other players as well. We've got two vice captains who are uh, playing the midfield and up front. So a lot of their, they do a lot of the talking as well and they get messages across as well. So we've got a fairly talkative back line as well, so we make sure messages get out there. <laughs> now, well, he oh, did have this bad injury to the young girl that hurt her back, lower back, and that was a terrible thing, because mm. that took quite a while to get her off, didn't it? It did, and uh, 
saw her after the game and her mum said that she was okay, but it's just horrible to see players go down like that. She was in great pain, wasn't just, she? Um, yeah, she was. Yeah. She really was. And she's quite a tough cookie. And for her to go down and stay down, it's, it's not, and, and it's not a good thing. You don't tend to hold back. I've, I've watched a few of these games and they're very entertaining. Do you actually find a lot of injuries? Um, not so much. Um, we just, um, we, we know the way we tackle and we... Yeah, sometimes you get injured, but sometimes a lot of the people think, oh, women's football, you wouldn't really go in for things. But when people watch the games, they're actually quite surprised. And <laughs> Very much so. Yeah, yeah, so, no, there's no... no there's no a lot of determination. There's no handbags out there. There's a lot of determination. Oh, no, 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 not at all. No, and no I keep handbags. saying, these games of the months are a great opportunity for guys to come out and watch the girls play because they do play some great football. Another thing I wanted to mention, that game you were up against your uh, staunch old defender, Chi Chi May. She's Chi -Chi with the yes. City now. I know, yeah. No, it was, it was good. It's good playing against her as well. And a couple of other players that um, used to be involved in the Sassy team as well, playing against them as well. So, no, it was good. And, and Chi played very well and she's mm. doing well there. So. Yeah. And That's it right. is a, a real who's who in both teams because you have got some great, great players in both of those teams. We actually, a couple of the girls from Fulham were looking at the team sheet from um, Friday and were just saying, God, they're both such strong teams. Yeah. If you look at the names, I know names don't always produce results, but just looking at the teams, it's just fantastic to what, see how many big names What is there. it that makes Fulham so strong? Because I see that you've uh, won four titles in a row, if I'm not mistaken. So what is it that makes your club so strong? Because I was just wondering, you're not actually like Fulham United backed by one of the Alpha Eds, are you? So you get all the strong <laughs> players. No, 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 no. I think we just have such a great team bond. It's just, it, everyone's so, we're just so tight-knit down there and we want to play for each other. We want to play for the, play for our coach. We want to just yeah. We just have fun, and I think that's what a good part of it is, is it's just a lot of fun, and with that comes, we play good football. Is it easy to get players? Do you actually find you have to go out and recruit them, or is it...? Um, at Fulham, we haven't actually ever really gone out to recruit. At the start, when we first came into Premier League in the uh, 2000 season, we um, got a couple of players just to sort of get ourselves started, but since then we've had players come to us. We haven't ever really gone searching since then. Mm. So the success has come with that. Now, I did speak to Max, and he yeah. said that it was a hard-fought win. It was. It was a hard-fought win. Is. He said that you guys have been really working hard to defend your championship, and uh, he's also enjoying, enjoying the challenge of this year's team as well. Definitely, because he took a year off. He, he's seen it as his goal to sort of get the team back together again, and, and he's doing it. He's doing a really good job of it. So. Well, he was there for 10 years, wasn't he? And then he took the break, and now he's back again. Yeah, he took so, a break for a bit and, and came back, and, and it's like he hasn't left, really. Yeah, it's, it's no, great look, having him back. He's loved so. by all, and you can see that, you know, the feeling there is everybody uh, really uh, respects him, and, you know, it's great to see that. Yeah, definitely. Now, why don't we have a look at the results from the weekend's matches? Uh, let's have a look at what happened with the Premier... Now, this is the top corner sports premier division. Of course, as we said, the Adelaide City nil, Fulham United one, great win there by Fulham. Adelaide Olympic two, Para Hills nil. Um, Metro United nil and Cumberland nil, two strong teams uh, draw, battling out a scoreless draw there. And Western Districts nil, Campbelltown City three, that's a ninth and eighth playing against each other. Sturt Marion had the bye. Adelaide Olympic also had lost their first three matches and they haven't lost since. So they're going yeah, very, very strong there, aren't they? They're coming strong at the right time of the season. And even if they, I think they can still actually win the league, but if not, they're going to cause a lot of headaches for teams that want to. They upset Metro 2-1 mm. a couple of weeks back and that's a big shock. That actually put Metro, I think, out of contention almost totally. So they're coming good at the right time of the season and we have them this Sunday, so we better watch our backs. Oh, so. well, I'll see you there then. <laughs> yeah. uh, that'll be good. Now, look at yourself, your own football career, because a lot of people may not know about you and what you've done. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone out there, especially the young kids that are watching, where has football taken you? When did you start and where? what have you done in your football career?